the entrance, Antiphon. Give me justice, O Lord, and plead my cause against a nation that is faithless. From the deceitful and cunning rescue me, for you, O God, are my strength. Our Mass this morning is offered for the repose of the soul of Tony Madrid by the part of Tony and Lupita Molinar. And Father Freddy's uh, intention for this Mass will be for the repose of the soul of Gwyn Espino by Fernando and Becky Espino. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. By your help we beseech you, Lord our God. May we walk eagerly in that same charity with which, out of love for the world, your Son handed himself over to death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, O my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them and bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. When I open your graves and have you rise from them, O my people, I will put my spirit in you that you may live and I will settle you upon your land. Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. I have promised and I will do it, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. With the Lord there is mercy and full of redemption. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my voice and supplication. With the Lord With the there is mercy and fullness of redemption. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, Lord, who can stand? But with you is forgiveness, that you may be revered. With the Lord, Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. I trust in the Lord, my soul trusts in his word, more than sentinels wait for the dawn, let Israel for the Lord. With the with Lord, Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. For with the Lord is kindness, and with him is plentiful redemption, and he will redeem Israel from all their iniquities. With the, the Lord, Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, those who are in the flesh cannot please God, but you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the Spirit. If only the Spirit of God dwells in you, whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. But if Christ is in you, although the body is dead because of sin, the Spirit is alive because of righteousness. The Spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead was in you. The one who raised Christ from the dead will give you life to your mortal bodies, also through his Spirit dwelling in you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. I am the resurrection and life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will never die. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. To you, Lord. Now a man was ill, Lazarus from Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. Mary was the one who had anointed the Lord with perfumed oil and dried his feet with her hair. It was her brother Lazarus who was ill. So the sister sent word to Jesus, saying, Master, the one you love is ill. When Jesus heard this, he said, This illness is not to end in death, but it is for the glory of God, that the Son of God may be glorified through it. 
Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So when he heard that he was ill, he remained for two days in the place where he was. Then after this he said to his disciples, Let us go back to Judea. The disciples said to him, Rabbi, the Jews were just trying to stone you, and you want to go back there? Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours in a day? If one walks during the day, he does not stumble, because he sees the light of this world. But if one walks at night, he stumbles, because the light is not in him. He said this, and then told them, Our friend Lazarus is asleep, but I am going to awaken him. So the disciples said to him, Master, if he is asleep, he will be saved. But Jesus was talking about his death, while they thought that he meant ordinary sleep. So then Jesus said to them clearly, Lazarus has died, and I am glad for you that I was not there, that you may believe. Let us go to him. So Thomas called Didymus, said to the, his fellow disciples, Let us also go to die with him. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Now Bethany was near Jerusalem, only about two miles away, and many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them about their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise. Martha said to him, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord. I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. When she had said this, she went and called her sister Mary secretly, saying, The teacher is here and is asking for you. As soon as she heard this, she rose quickly and went to him. For Jesus had not yet come into the village, but was still where Martha had met him. So when the Jews who were with her in the house comforting her saw Mary get up quickly and go out, they followed her, presuming that she was going to the tomb to weep there. When Mary came to where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who had come with her weeping, he became perturbed and deeply troubled and said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Sir, come and see. And Jesus wept. So the Jews said, See how he loved him. But some of them said, could not the one who opened the eyes of the blind man have done something so that this man would not have died? So Jesus, perturbed again, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone lay across it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the dead man's sister, said to him, Lord, by now there will be a stench, for he has been dead for four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone, and Jesus raised his eyes and said, Father, I thank you for hearing me. I know that you always hear me, but because of the crowd here I have said this, that they may believe that you sent me. And when he had said this, he cried out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out tied hand and foot with burial bands, and his face was wrapped in a cloth. So Jesus said to them, Untie him and let him go. Now many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what he had done began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good Sunday morning. As you can see, we've, we've draped the, the crucifix and, and the image of Our Lady in preparation for Holy Week. It is a, a way for us to, to keep in mind the, the, the gathering impending time of the Lord's passion. And, and so as, as we look at our gospel today, and we see Lazarus, a friend of Jesus, Martha and Mary, friends of Jesus, and in the midst of all this, we see Jesus weeping. 
we see Jesus dealing with the, the, the sadness of his friends. And it causes him to weep. And it is interesting because Jesus knew full well what he intended to do. He knew of his, that he planned to, to raise Lazarus from the dead. And that their so the sorrow of Martha and Mary was without meaning. And yet he weeps. He weeps out of his humanity, out of the, the pain of seeing others suffer, of seeing the grief that comes from Martha and Mary losing their brother Lazarus. In the midst of all this, Martha and Mary maintain their faith. Both of them proclaim their faith both in Jesus and in the resurrection. But they are still filled with sorrow. Sorrow at the loss of their brother. One thing that is very important is that gift of friendship. That Martha and Mary both are able to express to Jesus their deepest hearts, heartfelt feelings. They're not speaking to some, some unimportant rabbi. They are speaking to a friend. And they trust in Jesus as the Son of God. And yet still they weep. Because they too are human. In the midst of all this that is going on in the world, in the midst of this pandemic, in the midst of our fears and anxieties, it is important for us to maintain that friendship with Jesus, that friendship that allows us to express our anxieties, that allows us to express our fears, that allows us to express our grief at those who have fallen ill and those who have passed, that allow us to be sorrowful for those who are losing their jobs because of the economic downturn that has come about because of this pandemic. It is normal and natural and human for us to feel these things. But it is so very important for us to put our faith in Jesus Christ. To express to him our love, our devotion, and yes, even our fears and anxieties. For it is he who can change it all. It is he who calls for, for Lazarus to come out of his grave. It is he who celebrates with Martha and Mary and Lazarus at his resurrection. And thus it will be for us, as we continue to weather these storms of life, that with Jesus we may trust. And that with Jesus we may rejoice when the storm has passed. Let us pray for that grace to be so close to Jesus to share our love, our fears, our anxieties, and maintain our faith. Maintain our faith in him who can fix all these things for us. And so let us stand now to profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, he was crucified, died, and was buried. He rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And so trusting in, in the goodness and love of God, let us present to him our needs. Let us pray for Francis, our Pope, for Michael, our Bishop, and for all who lead us in the faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us pray for more vocations to ordain and consecrated life. 
especially from within our diocese and our community, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us pray for all those who have asked for some prayer from us, especially those whom we may have overlooked or forgotten. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us pray for all those who are anxious and fearful in this time of pandemic, that the Lord may be their comfort. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the sick, for the dying, and for those who care for them, that they may be, be granted grace by our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for our own needs, which we present to God now in the silence of our hearts. For these, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Almighty God, you know our needs before we ever present them to you. We ask that you grant them if they be according to your will. And we ask this through Jesus our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And we accept the sacrifice of your for the praise and the glory of his name for our good and good of our soul and church. Hear us, Almighty God, and having instilled in your servants the teachings of the Christian faith, graciously purify them by the working of this sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as true man he wept for Lazarus his friend, and as eternal God raised him from the tomb. Just as taking pity on the human race, he leads us by sacred mysteries to new life. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts that we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. 
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of his saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, have been to peace and salvation. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, such with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity the pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, or Pope, and Michael, our bishop, the order of bishops, and all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you summon before you. In your compassion and merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you after passing from this life. Today we remember Tony Madrid and Glenn Espino. Give kind amends to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow in the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the glory, and the honor is yours, now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. For the Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy of you. You should enter my room. But only say the word where I was. My soul shall be it. Spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Communion Antiphon. Everyone who believes, who lives and believes in me, will not die forever, says the Lord. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we may always be counted amongst the members of Christ, in whose body and blood we have communion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We pray that all is well with you and yours on this Sunday morning. Uh, know that we continue to pray for you. If you would like, um, you may offer whatever uh, offerings that you would normally do on Sunday, either through the mail, mailing them to the church, or dropping by. Uh, the office is open to the public still 8 a.m. till 12 noon, Monday through Thursday. And also you can check on our website, uh, which it will be below. Um, and there you will find a link to, to, to be able to donate online, and you can actually set up an ongoing or recurring donation there. If you can, please offer a, 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 a like and a subscribe on the video. Uh, when we get to a thousand subscribers, we'll be able to live stream Mass and to be able to offer this in a, in a more live way with you. Uh, as it is, we're recording and then uploading, and so... Uh, especially for the Tridium, we would like to be able to, to live stream with you. And so, know that we continue to pray for you. Keep up the faith and love one another. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Bless the Lord your people who long for the gift of your mercy, and grant that what at your prompting they desire, they may receive by your generous gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.